Sean Darling and Robert Flores. Good morning. And Lauren Shahadi. Good, Good morning. Trade deadline inside of two weeks right. away. We're ready for it. The great Dave Winfield joining us on the program. Todd Frazier as well. He's going to wear USA across his chest in the Tokyo Games coming up. Yeah, that should be a, that should be a whole lot of fun. I mean, it, ready? It let's go. Recently on the Athletic, you wrote the ten most intriguing questions of the deadline, and we will begin with Joey Gallo. He's been vocal, saying, "I want to stay here." Is this something? This is a question. Is this something that has to be handled now, or can they push it off into the offseason? Perfect world. Your article yeah. on Jose Ramirez, and you use the word, Ken, overwhelmed, that the Indians would have to be overwhelmed. What's their definition of overwhelmed in this situation? It's probably pretty high. Yeah. And uh, here's a guy. It's a weird Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it was good. Don't use big words. Yeah, I yeah. No, I'm not. Look them up. But, however, Hours, so. Jam-packed MLB Central presented by Hyundai Outlighter. This is three days Robert Good Lord. morning. Lord. I'm Lauren. Rofo is getting a little nervous. You're like, three days in a row. When is this little time? <laughs> I know. By the way, I got here early uh -huh. and I see Al's money clip. Yes. To my dismay, there's one dollar in it. Uh, Al, I'm I'm looking at your money All clip right, so right now. Sure. And a man of your means should Welcome not. Welcome inside. It's Friday. MLB Central presented by Hyundai. Good morning with Robert Flores and Ron Darling. One week until the trade deadline, yeah. but the Rays couldn't wait. Acquiring 41-year-old Nelson Cruz last night. I was looking at his baseball reference but he's been doing it since 2005 he had 33 home runs in 2009 the Rays get a gem you know how old 41 is some, something kind of like deal. that stir in the pot that's okay. the only way we can get on the blog we'll work on it yeah. okay because our jukebox jams poll is not cutting it not at all our producer is a Yankee fan but he still came up with this Blue Jays have a better chance at making the postseason than the Yankees as of this morning Fangraphs has the Blue Jays better playoff odds at 47.4 percent that I can't hit here and you can't hit at your home park it's there for good and I wonder if you're constantly hearing about who's next right walls and Franco and Brujan, that has to play into it, no? I'm not sure. 21, David Ross made it pretty clear. Over the next 10 days, he wants to tune out all the noise. He wants to focus on his team winning. And then Chris Bryant leaves with hamstring fatigue. And David Ross, the Cubs manager, had this. Trade deadline's coming up in a week and a half. What does that mean? And there are going to be some hugs in David Ross's dugout, most likely. Yeah. And well, we all know that, hey, Bryant is We're looking pretty darn good. And, and then they run into the Brewers. They have 23. I was reading what you wrote. 23 more games against the Pirates and the Cubs. So do we wait another week to kind of assess this situation? Yes, they're going to wait another in week. In the Derby, thinking, man, Jason, this is the year he puts it all together. And sure enough, right out of the break, first game, home run. And I'm thinking, I guess it doesn't alter your swing. I, I guess he's putting it all together, and we're seeing something pretty special. You know, uh, I think there's like a handful of guys that when they come Robinson, up to... The widow of the great Jackie Robinson. One of the most significant days of her life, April 15th, 1947, when Jackie broke the color barrier. Here are Rachel's memories of that historic day in Brooklyn, New York, nearly 75 years ago. Take two tonight from Fenway. Jim Cott, Bob Costas, Tom Verducci on the call. And Jim Cott joins us now to preview the game. And good afternoon to you, Jim. Aaron Boone said after last night's game, I have it here. When you have guys absent, everyone protects each other. That's why you have to lean on the bullpen. Didn't work last night. How do you take what you learned, Jim, from last night's game when it comes to the bullpen and apply it to tonight if you're Aaron Boone? Alice, good morning, by the way. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Alice taking copious notes. I'm getting nervous. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody was affected more probably than Alice. At a time. That's it. One segment at a time, Laura. <laughs> till Roflo shows up. <laughs> no, 100%. Where did he go? He took, oh, he took the segment <laughs> off. What's that? No, you're good. You're good. All right. I'm paying attention. All right, let's see how you do on this bump because I wrote it. Okay. Go ahead. Carlos, is it something bad about the Astros? No. Carlos Correa, Carlos Anthony Correa. Santander, and Kelvin Gutierrez in the dugout talking about it. Listen to this. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> so He's 100%. Oh, I don't think you knew him. He's a little puffed out. <laughs> No, I'm. Uh, but he was afraid He's of the. But it never moves. Perhaps this, this is the year. I think he this goes. is the year. Yeah. Ken, thanks so much on the inside corner. Hey, on Tuesday, the Players Alliance Gear for Good tour. Okay, Guns now this roses. is how you vote. What's that? I feel like Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. Roses. One. You, you may feel that way, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, remember, go to the MLB Network Twitter handle. They're going to send out the tweet. They're going to give you all the song choices, and you can vote. And I think it's pretty easy after we've heard all the songs. Who has the best song? <laughs> and we'll reveal the answer a little bit later. All right, coming up, Brewers go to Cincinnati. All West Coast is the best coast for your banners this Monday. Shine in a little spotlight on Cali teams. In Oakland, they're competing in the West. And as the deadline looms, a few 
few wins in their back pocket could certainly be helpful. Cole Irvin hoping to help Shohei Otani, the headliner, of course. Pods had their way with the Nationals Friday and Saturday. Their lineup relentless. You saw it. Lost the final game of the series, but you Darvish on the hill hoping to get them back in the win column. Seven and three, 125 strikeouts. First matchup between these teams in over two years. And how's Tony Gonsolin and Kevin Gosman for a late night battle in Los Angeles? You'd be hard pressed to find a better story than Gosman's first half of the season, right? Sub two ERA, hoping it will remain that way. Giants have the Dodgers for three starting tonight. Houston that came out on the winning end at the juice box on Monday, but Cleveland wants one back and they will turn to Tristan McKenzie to make it happen. Indians have work to do in the central standing in their way tonight. Luis Garcia. The Cleveland looking up at the White Sox and they're on the south side tonight with a former Cy Young Award winner on the mound. News this week that Eloy Jimenez and Luis Robert working their way back to go along with that staff. Watch out, right? And the Giants took game one of their series with the Dodgers. Alex Wood against his former team. Hoping to make it two for two. He's been awesome this year. You can say that again. You can say that about the entire Giants rotation, really, who have a 3-1-9 ERA this season. 10-10 from Los Angeles tonight. Always ready to go. The Mets have held the lead in the NL East for weeks, but they can't help but feel the pressure, and not just from one team, right? Braves with a great performance from Tuki Toussaint yesterday, who said post game, we should win the division. Well, Stroman thinks otherwise. He gets the Reds this afternoon. The NL Central belongs to the Brewers for now, but it was the Cardinals not too long ago. The professor on the mound for Chicago against the veteran Adam Wainwright, hoping to get St. Louis moving on up as they await their Aces return. And the Red Sox have lost 6 of 10, but they got the division for now. They're dealing with Robbie Ray, who has put it all together in his second year with the Blue Jays. Garrett Richards looking for his sixth win of the year. Salem Field in Buffalo, but not for long. Blue Jays going home within a month. Can't wait. That's in a beautiful way. We think of these games as July games, and they are, but one could make all the difference in this division. They could also make the difference in buying or selling. Charlie Morton on the mound for the Braves. Will he be there? in a week's time, 7.05 from the bank. He was in St. Pete just a year ago, and his former Rays are in Cleveland facing the Indians tonight. Tampa Bay parted with Morton and Snell somehow just a game back in the AL East after winning 7 of 10. And it's the 10-win club of July at Dodger Stadium late night. Walker Bueller, Anthony DiSclavani, both with 10 wins to their name this season. It's a two-game cushion for San Francisco out west. Both pitchers, whose baseball reference page <laughs> looks pretty pristine this year going to be a battle like the first two games have proven to be 10 10 out west tonight excitement and a glimpse into the future watch the detroit tigers lately you heard me seven straight wins the last time they had a perfect homestand 2013 the manager jim leland now willie peralta gets the ball trying to make it eight in a row in kansas city tonight you watch the white Sox or the brewers for that matter nightly you're going to see a pitcher that's going to wow you doesn't matter who it is pick any two and tonight Tonight, it is Lucas Giolito and Freddie Peralta, two division leaders trying to stay put in July. And the A's aren't at the top, but they're inching closer, right? Frankie Montas hoping to inch further towards the goal tonight. The lineup will have to deal with Yusei Kikuchi. 10-10 from T-Mobile Park in Seattle tonight. Can't wait, people. You've lost 3% since you started begging. <laughs> I think so. You started I think begging so. 100%. Unbelievable. Todd Frazier endorsed my vote. That definitely helped. It's a Todd Father effect. That's Have it. a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Just, just visit your home, see the Pulitzer. That's all they have. There, there you go. Multi Emmy winner here, folks. <laughs> right here. <laughs> a beefcake? Not necessarily beefcake, but. I'll uh, just call this silly. But uh, silliness day. and stuff BK. like that. All right. We're going to try it again tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, America. <laughs> with a whole brand new exciting show. Are we? That's what they're telling me. Bye. Be alone. Right. Red Sox Yankees is our showcase game tonight. Can't wait for it. Dero is back on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you then. Have a great weekend.